I did not collude with Russia, nor do I know of anyone else in the campaign who did so. I had no improper contacts. I have not relied on Russian funds for my businesses. And I have been fully transparent in providing all requested information. I don't know. Welcome back. Then denying any collusion with Russia, President Trump's son-in-law there, an advisor, Jared Kushner, also denied any impropriety in that December meeting with the head of Russia's state-owned bank. Well, since that meeting, Kushner has divested from his family's business. However, the Washington Post reports today that as investigations proceed, pressures at 666, there's a problem, Fifth Avenue are building. In 2007, then 26-year-old Kushner bought that Manhattan address for $1.8 billion, the highest price paid at that point for any office tower in the United States. The Washington Post points out that experts speculate that Kushner had vastly overpaid and that months after buying the building, the Great Recession pummeled values. Now Kushner's role in government has made the Kushner company's Manhattan property toxic to potential investors. As Kushner friend Tom Barrick told the Washington Post, Kushner's move to the White House just about completely chilled the market. Potential investors just said, no way can't be associated with any appearances of conflict of interest. Let's bring in tonight's Hardball Roundtable. Eliza Collins is Capitol Hill reporter for USA Today. Jason Johnson is politics editor for The Root and the NMSNBC contributor as well. And Zeke Miller is the White House correspondent for Time. Zeke, I want you to start on this. It looks to me like this young guy put down, uh, put down his note for $1.8 billion without any way to pay for it, hoping that somehow the revenues from rentals would bring it in. Then he runs into so much trouble because there was a great recession. He had to sell off the, the retail spaces, killing his revenue flow. Then he sold off like half of the office space, again killing off a lot of his revenue flow. So he owes tons more all this money. He has nobody to invest in him. And he's got a very little revenue flow coming from, from rental. I don't see how he's not in a hawk big time and he's not going to get out of it while he's a senior assistant to the president. No, that, that's certainly a, a financial issue for him, and, uh, it, and, and part of the reason why he's having trouble attracting investors, Post reports, is that you know people don't want to associate themselves necessarily. How can he sit in the White House trying to get himself out of this ditch while he's in the White House? You know, they, they, they're, they're processes in terms, of the, in terms of what he controlled, what he doesn't control in terms of how he tried to divest from, those pro from, from that, but that is an open question. We need to hear at some point from Jared Kushner how he's not exposed, um, how he's not vulnerable here if he if he is in the in the, in, the, in that financial okay. state okay i'm jared kushner i'm at the white house here's my number four five six one four one four the united states white house mm -hmm. so he calls around the chinese or probably the russians asking for money isn't that a conflict of interest oh i need money by the way you want to reach me i work at the white house <laughs> chris no and all these foreigners who all think you can buy any government a lot of them they always right. think you can buy because a lot of governments can be bought hey here's a way to buy the government bail this guy out it, it, Chris, it's not only a conflict of interest, it's not only a problem for him, his businesses, and President Trump, but here's the most valuable thing he has. He's got a security clearance. Yeah. So when people do call him, they're not asking to invest in his businesses. They're asking him very likely to reveal or give hints about information that would endanger him and endanger this entire administration. So, you know, he's sitting on a gold mine. What makes you, think of, the, what make you think of that being something he can negotiate? Well, because those would be the kind of questions you would ask. Think about think about the meeting that he went to that Don Jr. had. It's like, hey, you're a government person. You know anything about Hillary Clinton? You can imagine those kinds of questions being asked of Kushner. Look, we don't want you to give us state secrets. Just tell us a little bit about what's going on in the White House. Tell us what okay, this is. Okay, I want to know what he's doing with the head of the Russian bank. It's, you might go to a bank for money. He said it had nothing to do with his businesses. Even he, though he's in hock. Well, it's just there's an issue here, and especially with investors, are, don't want to get involved with someone in the White House, but they also don't want to get involved. He is now under investigation right. for things like these meetings, where it comes up when he talks to Congress, potentially more. Right. Why would you want to subject yourself to this and be, you know, questions, there's a FBI investigation, a congressional investigation, and then also just news, headlines, conflicts. Well, you know, the argument the president makes is that there's no, he has no involvement economically with Russia. And they're denied involved, Zeke. And then over and over again, we keep hearing about these involvements. 
Yeah, I mean, that, that's all been, entangled in the same meetings for all we can tell. Yeah, that's been their problem on this. They deny, 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 and then it sort of drips out slowly that those denials were, you know, blanket when they should have been, you know, caveated every which way. You know, there are there are all these sort of, uh, you know, that we, in, in terms of what Robert Mueller has to deal with now, you know, it, it, it's always, it, it's not, maybe it's not the crime. It's Do you think the up. president can fence himself off from his family now? I never liked this nepotism. I didn't like it in the beginning. I fought it here, and they got away with it. They found a law that allowed them to do it. They had good lawyers. And my question is, can the president separate himself from his own family now? The question is legally or politically. Politically, probably not. He fought. Okay, he's not the taking him on his trip to China. What's that tell you? He's not taking Ivanka or her husband, Jared Kushner, on his trip to China. Is that related to this? Is there a taint there? He's saying, oh, okay, better not travel with them anymore. Or is, or is John Kelly, the chief of staff, finally getting control of reality in the White House and saying, Mr. President, you got to stop hanging around with this Romanov family of yours. They're causing you trouble. I think John Kelly could very well be putting separations, but I don't think President Trump is saying I want you guys to stay away because how come they're not going to China with him? I mean, there's you a know? lot of it. Do you know, see, who knows here why they're not gone? Because we got because, the word. Because it's, because it's dangerous. Because people don't want to be involved with them. And also, they don't have Let me read to you. I don't I, I always often read this newspaper. The South China Morning Post. Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner's trip to China may have been canceled because some officials in the White House decided the couple were not suitable to make preparations for U.S. President Donald Trump's visit to Beijing. They, they sent this guy to, to negotiate Middle East peace process. He's got no expertise in this, outside of the fact that they have a well, child. Well, finally, somebody's Chinese. noticed. Exactly. Anyway, the South China Morning did report that. Anyway, what do you make of it? I'm, this thing's going to bug it could, Trump. It could be John it, Kelly. It makes it look like his daughter's tainted. Well, Ivanka Trump also has her whole fashion line, and there's been issues with that in China. So that could be John Kelly saying no. But who knows? Well, there's something I know nothing about. Everybody is afraid of a desperate man. This is like, you know, Denzel at the end of training day. No one takes your calls anymore. You're in trouble. You're in hot to a bunch of different people. And the fear that being connected with Jared Kushner would not only put you under the ire of investigators in the United States, but possibly get you in some sort of international trouble. No one wants to touch First that. reference to Denzel Washington's <laughs> Oscar-winning performance in training day here. Go ahead. No, I mean, part of that, too, in, in terms of that trip, is, you know, the Chinese in particular are very sensitive to issues of protocol. Are they the best... Uh, the, you know, the, the best you know, face of the United States, the best face of the presidency. Certainly, John Kelly's well versed in those things. Yeah, well, and trying to send a scene. Kelly's looking ask. good. They'll give him an Oscar for being chief of staff at this point. Anyway, the roundtable sticking with us. And up next, these three will tell me something I don't know. We'll be right back.